in recent years, there has been a significant rise in the use of electric vehicles. Now, it is anticipated that the market for electric cars will increase by around 25% over the next seven years, showing a significant shift in preference for electric vehicles over conventional automobiles. So, there is undoubtedly a good reason for this. Electric vehicles may provide a means of transportation is less harmful to the environment. But the problem is, current batteries aren't that efficient and they are also hard to recycle. Thankfully, there's good news. Hey guys, welcome to Investing Wise Academy. I am Jules, and in this video, we're going to look at the revolutionary battery technology that will change everything. Even though generating power to charge electric vehicles result in the emission of greenhouse gases, it appears that the overall net output of greenhouse gases between charging and operating an EV is positive. There is no denying the importance of batteries in today's world since they can store energy, which may be used for electricity power devices, electric vehicles, and even whole houses. Batteries with a high capacity have the potential to have a substantial impact on a variety of domains, including mobility and supply chain management. Just imagine that all of the renewable power we'll be able to generate in the distant future will be able to be stored and put to use to run our entire economy, particularly the more energy-intensive and polluting industries like manufacturing, transportation, and supply management. So, high-intensity batteries can completely change the game for business and individual customers. You see, the amount of time needed to charge an electric vehicle is a big drawback. In most homes, charging a device can take several hours, and the difficulty also shifts when you're away from home and on the road. Even though more superchargers are readily available to charge an electric vehicle, it may still take less than an hour to fully charge it. And even though this is superior to charging our cars at home, it is still inconvenient because we are accustomed to pumping gas into our vehicles for only a few minutes. Even though there are now millions of electric cars on the road, their range is still limited by their batteries, inability to store as much energy as the fuel tanks of gasoline or diesel-powered vehicles. This is still the case despite significant developments in battery technology over the past few years. The good news is researchers from Korea's Institute for Basic Science have developed quantum technologies that can fast charge batteries, which could be the answer to this long-standing problem in the field of quantum physics. They were motivated by a paper from 2012 that proposed an idea of quantum battery and speculated that quantum resources like entanglement may charge battery at a significantly faster pace by simultaneously charging all cells in a battery. The development of quantum battery has made significant strides thanks to the demonstration of a revolutionary proof-to-concept device that shows it is possible to build a type of battery in which the charging power improves faster by increasing the battery capacity. To store energy, quantum batteries use quantum mechanical principles, making them the next generation of energy storage technology. Quantum physics investigate the subatomic world where the laws of classical physics may break down. Now, renewable energy sources, such as solar cells or nuclear fusion, will become increasingly crucial to the functioning of human society. This is seen as inevitable due to the insatiable want for energy that humans have shown throughout history and the limited availability of fossil fuels. Therefore, a lot of effort has been put into finding new energy sources, the vast majority of which rely on electricity as their primary energy carrier. Now, reports suggest that quantum battery could have many more cells than traditional batteries, which each cell is charged separately in a parallel. Researchers claim that there is an advantage to charging electric vehicles using network of quantum batteries. Researchers have also shown a straightforward approach for creating quantum batteries and accurately determining the charging rate that they are capable of. They showed that the maximum charging speed improves with increasing cell count, which bodes well for the potential of quantum batteries capable of global operation to achieve high charging rates. The question of whether or not charging speeds are constrained was looked into by a group of researchers from IBS Center for Theoretical Physics of Conflict Systems. And now, they propose that global operation is necessary to get the quantum advantage. Moreover, the research group pinpointed a precise quantification for the amount by which a charging rate can be accelerated. They found that unlike conventional batteries like lithium-ion ones, where maximum charging speeds increase with a cell count, quantum batteries with global operation can achieve quadratic charging speed scaling. This quantum improvement is due to exploiting entanglement process in which the battery cells are charged collectively. However, conventional battery cells have to be charged in tandem and separately, which is laborious process. Now, quantum charging advantage is a ratio used to express the value of collective charging. Researchers at IBS were curious about how much faster charging times could be made. And after conducting several theoretical experiments, the researchers found that collective charging, also known as Global Operations Protocol, may achieve quadratic scaling and charging speed. Unlike conventional batteries, where a greater number of cells resort in a longer charging time, quantum batteries' charging time reduces as their size grows. 
You see, charging times for electric vehicles EVs rise by a factor of 4 for every 10 battery cells and by a ratio of 100 for every additional 1,000 cells. Quantum charging, that is Arch's claim, may lead to charging 200 times faster than the conventional batteries for a typical EV battery of 200 cells. So, if you own an electric vehicle, it will take 3 minutes to charge it at home instead of 10. And at superchargers, a full charge would take seconds instead of the half an hour it currently takes. In contrast to conventional automobiles, which derive their power from the combustion of hydrocarbon fuels, electric vehicles acquire their power from batteries. Now, early electric vehicles had very limited ranges since batteries had a far lower energy density than fuels. However, the steady development of battery technology has enabled electric car ranges to catch up to those of gasoline-powered vehicles. It is not an exaggeration to say that progress in battery storage technology was a significant technical barrier that had to be surmounted before the current EV revolution could begin. Researchers believe that the consequences of quantum charging could be significant, ranging far beyond the realm of electric vehicles and consumers' good. Possible applications include quick charging and discharging large amount of energy as may be required in the future fusion power plants. However, there is still a long way to go before quantum technology like this can be employed in the real world. The good news is that finding like this can help persuade organizations like the National Science Foundation and private companies to invest more money in this field of study. And when that happens, the development of quantum batteries could completely alter our energy consumption patterns, leading us to a greener tomorrow. Increasing the battery size should, in theory, shorten the charging time for quantum batteries. The theory of superabsorption supports this idea, and if manufacturers adopt the technology in the future, it may hasten the growth of the electric vehicle market. Quantum batteries would eliminate the need for extended downtime at charging station for electric vehicles like cars and motorcycles. So, do you think this battery technology will be used sooner than later? Or do we still need to wait 50 to 100 years? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Before you leave, if you want to support this channel more, please consider trying our super thanks, where in your comments will be highlighted, and join our membership program to support this channel more. And please do note we're trying to improve our quality of content, and your tips and recommendations to enhance it will be highly appreciated. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Again, this is Jules, and don't forget to like this video, and see you next time.